Do you want to have a baby cat that looks so cute that you want to squeeze it alive? Well, in this video, you will see the most cutest animals you have never seen before. From Margay to Red Pandas. So get your cat, sit and relax, and get ready to save all a million times. First is a Margay. A Margay is a wild cat that comes from Central and South America. It lives mainly in the deciduous, deciduous forest, and it eats small mammals like birds, eggs, lizards, and tree frogs. The Margay is one of the only two cat species that are flexible enough to climb head first down trees. The Margay is very agile. Its ankles can turn up to 180 degrees. Margays like to spend most of their time in the trees, but they still do hunt. Wow, I am learning so much already. Are you? Well, it is time to move on to the next cute animal. Next is the red panda. The red panda lives in the foothills of the Himalayan mountain range in Asia. Wow, that is so high. Scientists used to think that they were pandas, but now they think they are their own species or their own group of animals. They are active at dawn and dusk, and they are a really good climber, and suppose, spends most of their time high up in trees. The red panda usually lives alone, and they mark their territory by scent, which it comes from small sacks under its tail. Like a giant panda, the red panda likes sweet bamboo. However, the giant panda eats every part of the bamboo plant except the roots, but the red panda only eats the most tender shoots and leaves. Bet you didn't know that. And it also eats roots, fruit grubs, birds' eggs, and also other type of grasses. Did you ever believe that a cute animal can live in the desert? Well, there certainly are, the fennec fox. It lives in the Sahara and somewhere in North America. Their habits help them survive the heat of the desert and some adaptions too. Their bat-like ears help keep the foxes cool. They also have long hair that protects them from the sun during the day. Even the foxes, even the foxes feet are hairy, which helps in protecting the fox's feet from hot sand. Fennec foxes dig a lot too, so they live underground. Fennec foxes are humble eaters. They look for plants, but they can eat eggs, reptiles, or insects. Like most desert animals, the fennec fox has developed the power to go underwater and stay there for a long time. These foxes has a cream-colored coat with black-tipped tails. Also, these foxes are adorable. That makes them favorites of the captive trade. Some local people also hunt the fennec fox for their fur. Next is the Japanese weasel. The Japanese weasel is a carnivorous mammal. It belongs in the family Mustelidae. I cannot pronounce that. It mainly lives in Japan on the islands of Honshu, Kyushu, and Shikoku. It has an orange or brown colored fur coat with darker markings on their head, and their size are depending on its gender. It is often confused with the Siberian weasel since the Siberian weasel is closely related to the Japanese weasel. Unlike other weasels, they, their coat does not change in winter. Bet you didn't know that too. The Japanese weasel in the wild can live up to two or three years. The highest is five years. The population of the Japanese weasel sadly declined of 25% of over the last few generations. But still, we are taking action, so don't you worry. They live in the area in they live in the area in mountains or near water where there are trees. Its diet includes insects, crayfish, and frogs, and even more adult males can reach up to thirty five centimeters. Females are smaller. Next is the clip springer. The clip springer is a rock climbing antelope. It lives mainly in the mountains of eastern and southern Africa. Its Kiswahili name is the goat of the rock, although it really looks like the Eurasian goat antelopes. Some of their adaptions that the clip springer has a short neck, a small tail, and an undercoat with air-filled guard hairs. 
and the power of ability to stand on tiptoes. Its coloring is gray, brown, shades of tan, which conceals the clips ringer from predators. Predators. It also has large round ears, which which are white from the inside and have black edges. Also, their horns are 10 centimeters, which is four inches long. Its sure-footedness allowed the clip springer to escape its predator on slopes and rocky area, and even on lava fields. Wow, I cannot imagine a clip springer doing that. Insulation helps them to survive climatic extremes from sea level up to 4,500 meters, which is 14,800 feet. Clip springers eat a variety of evergreen shrubs, vines, flowers, seeds, and forbs if it is urgent. And forbs. If it is urgent, they leave their homes far away to feed the plants they eat. That gives them all the water they need. I hope you learned a lot because we are moving on to the next animal. Time to move on to the next animal, the sea otter. The sea otter is an aquatic member of the weasel family. It is found near the coast of the Pacific Ocean, Ocean in North America and Asia. The sea otter does not come out of the water much, but in some places it comes out of the water to rest or sleep. Sea otters have webbed feet, water repellent fur to keep them warm and dry, and they have ears and nostrils that close underwater. Wow, that's cool. Sea otters usually float at the water's surface, lying on their backs in a posture of calmness. I wonder if we should do that. It must be relaxing. They, slip, they sleep this way, often with other sea otters. Otters sometimes float in giant seaweed or in forests of clouds in which they entangle themselves to provide anchorage in the swirling sea. Otters often will see a clam or a mussel in the ocean floor. The otters will place a rock on their chest and they will hit the shellfish again and again until it cracks open to reveal a yummy meal inside. They also eat sea urchins, squids, crabs, and more. Sea otters are the only otters to give birth in the water. Pretty cool, right? Sea otters are really clean. After eating, they clean themselves until, until they are shining. Sea otters were hunted for their fur, but today they are protected by law. The next animal is a hedg the next animal we're going to talk about is a hedgehog. A hedgehog, also called furs pig or hedge pig, is a small mammal. It has between 5,000 to 7,000 spines on its back. There are hedgehogs in a lot of places, Europe, Africa, Asia, and New Zealand. When the hedgehog is scared or attacked, it curls up. Hedgehogs eat snails, insects, frogs, and toads, snakes and mushrooms, birds, eggs, berries, and melons. Sometimes hedgehogs will look for earthworms after rainstorms. Hedgehogs are active animals, and they hibernate between November and March. I didn't know hedgehogs hibernate. I only thought bears do. Oh well, I learned, I learned something today. Hedgehogs have long quills, or spines, made from keratin. They do not come off easily, unlike porcupines. But when a hedgehog is a baby, the baby quills come off, and are replaced with adult quills. This is called quilling. But when they are really sick or stressed, their quills can fall off too. Their quills are not poisonous, so they are safe for humans to touch them. Cool, I want to touch a hedgehog. Some people like to keep hedgehogs as a pet. African pygmy hedgehogs are the most popular for pets. Hedgehogs are exotic pets. That means they may not be legal to keep, uh, keep as pets in some places. Hi, did you like the video? Well, did you say aw oh, every time there was a new animal? I think you did. So there are a lot of cute animals than you think. So smash that like button and hit that subscribe button.